Hi, I'm Roxy, and what you're looking at right now is a study I did using a comic inking brush pack I made specifically for Corel Painter. I'm giving away this pack for free for one month, starting from the date that I post this video. Uh, thereafter, I'll put a small price tag on it, and uh, you can find the download or purchase link in the video description. But this video is going to show you how to install it, and I'll also go through each one of the brushes to show you how they work. If this isn't your first radio, the video is timestamped, so feel free to skip the installation instructions. Uh, but for those of you who need it, I'll just quickly go through the steps. At the time of posting, the current version of Painter is 2023, and that's the version that I made the brushes in. I have a zip file uh, especially for Paint 2023, which will likely work on later versions as well, but if not, I'll obviously update the files. And I have a legacy version, which I've tested on Painter 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. Um, it might work on earlier versions as well, but I don't have the old software to test with. So you download and unzip the version that corresponds to whatever version of Painter you have. And then from the brushes drop down, you select import category. You navigate to the file uh, that corresponds to your version of Painter. You click open. It might ask you if you want to import the brushes and the dabs or just the dabs, select both. Um, and then it should appear here, Roxy inking brushes. If you're using an earlier version of a Painter, earlier than 2023, it will give you a warning about the scrape brush, but you can safely ignore that. Now I'll just quickly go through each brush. First one is a Roxy ink taper. It's a line with a slight taper on the ends. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see there, see that. So. Um, Got a little bit of a size variation if you press harder, but it tapers off to a point. I use this mostly for the outlines and particularly in these areas where I wanted to indicate um, the source of light, which is sort of coming from this direction. Um, so I could kind of just taper it off and give that kind of uh, a lighter effect. The next one is uh, Roxy Ink Flare. And this is the opposite. It, the ink kind of pulls on the edges. Now this type of brush is extensively used by uh, Ryan Benjamin. He's a professional comic book artist for DC and Marvel. And I watched a demo he did in Clip Studio Paint using a brush just like this and I thought um, to myself I can make that in Painter. So here we are. I've used it for the majority of the hatching. As you can see. So it works as desired. The next one is the ink pen brush, which is this. It's got obviously a, a much wilder size variation. And um, what I like about it is you can use it to, to make a shape, but you can also color that shape in. So I used it for a lot of this kind of thick work making folds in the material and then coloring it in. The next one is Roxy Ink Texture Taper, or TX Taper, hit it for short. And uh, with this one you can add a little bit of a, a texture or pattern. If you press lightly you can see it comes through and uh, if you press hard it's solid and uh, so it's the same as as the taper except you can add texture to it and then we have texture flare which is the same as the flare except uh, when you press softly uh, you've got that texture you press hard it it goes thinner and, so and more solid and we've got three hatching brushes uh, hatch one two and three and uh, they basically work all the same, but the difference is that it just gets gradually further apart, the lines. 
So obviously you don't want to be using this too much because your picture is going to start looking a bit machined rather than hand drawn. Um, but you know areas like this, um, it can save a bit of time. Like over there, I used it. Okay, next we've got jitter. Um, so jitter is it's like the normal taper except it's got a little bit of grunginess. You can see when I zoom in how that's smooth and this is just a bit grungier. Can kind of give more of a authentic traditional inking look if that's what you prefer. Then I've got three brushes that it's just a scored line and uh, the difference again is that the dots get further and further apart, third one being the furthest apart. And then we've got a scored ink brush. Here we go. So this is like um, the ink brush, except it's got scoring when you press light. Next up is texturizer. And uh, this is a brush that you kind of pick one of your, your papers. And uh, you can fill in a texture. Uh, it uses fluid opacity, which is uh, something that's native to a Corel Painter 2023, and uh, it works a little differently in the legacy pack that I included because uh, we can't use fluid paint. So on that one, let me just uncheck fluid paint, and you can see um, the texture comes in a lot more aggressively. So that'll be the difference between the legacy pack and the 2023 pack. You can just get, uh, you can build up the texture a lot slower with the fluid paint. Next we've got stipple and uh, this is basically just random blobs, a line that creates, it's kind of like the scored one, but uh, there's a jitter on the dots. Then we've got uh, two splatter brushes. The first one is called Clean Splatter. Um, you'll see that each of the splats is a perfect circle, hence why I called it Clean. And uh, the next one is, uh, it's a little bit more irregular. This is uh, my attempt at simulating Clip Studio Paint's Battle Dust brush. And uh, I think it does a good job. I actually used it down here. So all I did was I made some splats with the brush. And then transformed the selection to give it some perspective. So quite versatile. Then we've got Ink Scrape. This is kind of grungy. It's nice to break up uh, some lines. Give it a little bit more character. And uh, you could grab white, for example. And... Uh, kind of erode into your ink or if you want to keep it one color uh, instead of adding white you can obviously also go to uh, general and literally change it into an eraser brush so you are actually erasing not just painting white over it and of course you can do that with almost any of the brushes um, you can turn almost any of them into an eraser except for the next three. So the next three brushes are um, liquid ink brushes. It's something that's specific to Corel Painter's brush engine. As soon as you try to use one of these brushes, it'll automatically create a specific liquid ink layer. You can obviously flatten that down into a normal layer, but uh, you can't paint directly onto a normal layer with a liquid ink brush. So this one it, it really is just a real grungy brush. Then we've got Liquid Leaky, and this one's got kind of an erosive quality. And then finally we've got uh, the Scribble Brush, and um, I quite like this for, um, I used it, used it in a few places, but like, you know, to create these grungy lines on the arm. So I guess that's it. Uh, if you make something cool with the brushes, 
tag me on social media. I'd like to retweet or like it. Um, thank you for watching. Much obliged if you leave a like and subscribe. Until the next one, God bless.